sacada, right? Again, that sacada number four, that cross position. Normally, we would either keep going, right? Or a lot of today we were doing this, but now we're going to stop that. We're going to stop her pivot and accompany the back ocho. So it's a basically a sacada with a change of direction. Boom and bop. And again, we talked about getting guys for that change of direction. See if you can make the big step bigger. And how do you do that? Instead of stepping just with the embrace, you're going to embrace is going to be a little bit behind you. That way, instead of being here, you're trying to. And we talked about the ladies part two. And again, we have to allow that to happen. That's so slide. our embrace is not just locked in one position. So from here, again, if we're in this position and he wants to get close, I have to let that happen. So I let it slide. And then once we got into that sacada, boom, change direction. Now second change direction, what we did last week, forward, side, back. Most of you guys actually did that part really, really well. Um, I said this to a couple of guys, how much you rotate will depend on one, how big her step is. If her step is really small, we won't rotate that much. If my sacada is really small, we won't rotate. If we're both doing it kind of big, then this is going to definitely rotate a little bit more. Uh, Again, for the ladies, we talked about whenever mm -hmm. the guys is doing the sacadas, the leaders are doing the sacadas, is making sure that it's the upper body first. You let that leg out, upper body, then you release to do that pivot. Okay. Okay. Cool.